He's 1-0 all-time against the Coyotes. No Tuka Rask, so Troy Grosnick backs up tonight for the Boston Bruins. Thought we might see Rask and Tyson Nash. And it's all about balance. You can't just depend on that top line of Smaltz, Clayton, Keller. You need everybody. You need all hands on deck here tonight, Matt. Sorry. Yeah. Nash out there to kill the penalty with Antoine Roussel. Also, J.J. Moser, and a shot is on. And a clear in the fourth player out there, Anton Strawman on the penalty kill. Osternak drops it for Bergeron, and the Bruins will get it set up. Marcin out high. McAvoy with a shot, and Wedgwood got a piece. Now it goes across. Nine to go in the Chikrin Meyer. Down low to the front, and they can't get a pass Wedgwood as he covers in the crease. Oh, they get the play they wanted. Off the face off, Boyd kind of kicking at it with his skate. Coyotes will take it away. Smaltz right there. He's active again. Tyson right in the pile. As the Coyotes try to keep the zone and a great effort by Clayton Keller. And he gets it back. Across. Chick ready. Blasted it just wide. One point in his last seven games. You look at the work. The turnover by the Coyotes. And then the beautiful passing play by Clayton Keller. Over to Jacob Chikrin. That's all about anticipation. The Boston Bruins are going to get an opportunity. You have to make them earn it. You can't put the puck up the middle of the ice. Not against this top line in particular. Riley's got it. Quick shot and a stop by Wedgwood. A lot of different options, that's for sure. But the Brosk and Coyle and Steen, that, that's a line that is going to do some serious damage in the playoffs. I mean, try to line match against this team. It's impossible. Here's Pasternak right to the front, and they score! Eric Hollis set up beautifully, and it's 1-0 Boston. And Taylor Hall, and you want to turn the puck over. You don't want to pick up guys in the middle of the ice. This is what happens. The Coyotes had an opportunity there. They bobbled it. Pasternak gets everyone puck watching and finds Hall in the middle of the ice, and Hall just stands there. Stick on the ice. He knows it may come to him. It does. Keller down low. He had a goal the other night in Pittsburgh. 16th of the season. Gostas there. Across. And they score. Nick Schmaltz. He had a pair in Pittsburgh on Tuesday. Gets one here to tie it at one. And that is a monster goal. And the Boston Bruins are more than capable of doing that. Good puck movement. Goss is fair. What a feed. Nick Smaltz wants it. He gets it. And he rips it. Zero hesitation. It's those four checking ones. And I think he's really recognizing if I continue to play that way, I can be real effective. Underway here for period two. As Riley will send one in. Holla for the Bruins in the opening 20. And Andrew Ladd will clear it back to the Boston Blue Line. Picked up here. Dezingo with a shot. Oh, he just missed low glove. Oh, what an opportunity there. Good speed. That last opportunity by Dezingo. Perfect read. And there's that speed. Comes in. Pokes the puck away. And off to the race as he goes. And shoot first mentality. Get hounded by Galchenya. Down low it goes, Jake DeBrus to the front, trying to jam it home, and it ends up in the corner for Louis Erickson. Oh, much better play, though, there by the Coyotes. And then when you come to him, that's when the man in front pops up and is open. Nothing there. Steen covered perfectly. And then after the save by Wedgwood, everybody converts. Everyone comes down to help out to make sure. That you might want to get a guy on that man right there. Pasternak with an absolute bomb. And now Kessel with speed. Kessel is in. He shoots at a save that time. Omar going that off the end boards. Almost got by Lena. No, absolutely. Phil Kessel with a real good opportunity there. Almost finds the near post a second. Now Shane. Chikrin. Midpoint. Tried to send to the front. Rebound is there for Kraus, but he can't get a pass to Omar. He sticks with it. And the Coyotes have had the better of the opportunities. Lost and Kraus not with one, but two as well. Osternak across the brush. Oh, that hit a stick and goes out of play. Well, they're not afraid to shoot that puck, whether it's DeBrusque, Smith. He's got 12 goals in January. It's the third time in the last uh, three seasons with 12 goals in a calendar month for Pasternak. And he's got the puck. Goes out high. Marshan to McAvoy. He shoots. He scores. Charlie McAvoy.
And the power play comes through for the Boston Bruins. They lead it 2-1. to one. They are so lethal. And again, it's off a face-off win. You look at the movement. Take it down the boards. They get you chasing. And then the little fake pump, the shot, the traffic in front. And right, let's see if there was a screen. And yes, there was. Jacob Chikrin right in the eyeballs of Wedgwood. And that shot maybe fanned upon, maybe a little bit. Kessel to Keller. Room. And Kessel with a shot stopped by the hallmark. He kind of fought that one off. Well, that was labeled top shelf in the second opportunity. To the line. Moser with a shot. He hit the outside of the net. Moser again, and it stopped. Oh, it's actually underneath Allmark. Did it go in? No, he's got it. Big side of the net. They still haven't blown the whistle. Well, Phil, the thrill here is trying to tie this game up. And you look at the movement. A little bank pass by Kessel. There's the original shot by Moser. Doesn't get through. The next one. And then Phil Kessel he just picks that puck right off the blocker and almost stuffs it home. And that's where the goals are going to be scored. The very one or two or three for Phil Kessel. The Coyotes, they just need one. Played in behind the net, so the Coyotes on the man advantage for another minute 26. Lawson Krause a, a foot to the left, and he's, he's in perfect position. Played along, Moser looks to get it out, and it's played to center by Riley Nash. Nash brings it in with a shot, it goes wide. Nash off the end boards, trying to put it home. Oh, Keller was there. Played the other way, DeBrusque. Right back to the front kick pad, save Wedgwood. Coyotes look for a clear. They'll look to get it out here, but they can't. Uh, Paula, one of the two goals. Now to Brusque. Right to the net. Blocked. Rebound. Oh, and a stop. Wedgwood. Club save. Maybe the save of the night. Point blank. As we head to break. Two on Boston. Kessel. Brings it along. In over the line. Keller. Keller right to the net. It stops. Rebound in front. Oh, it's just sent wide by Ladd. Well, there's the chance right there. That puck just squirts wide. It's hanging around. Marchand will bring it out. To center. Steen. Back to Marchand. Marchand. Dip of the shoulder to the body. Stopped by Wedgwood. It's underneath the Coyotes goaltender, and he gets a faceoff. Outside, and Wedgwood says, uh-uh, not this time. Brad Marshan looks to get it out. Now Marshan will skate it along, two on one. Pasternak over the line. Pasternak right to the net. And he sent it over the top, trying to wait out Wedgwood. Real good coverage here by the Coyotes. They take him all the way back to the front of the net. Good job by Chickler. Good job by Gosses Bear getting back and then leaving the shooter which is positive knock all to Scott Wedgwood and Wedgwood plays him perfect and he's trying to keep it alive and they do Gostisbehere Keller to the front underneath and Schmaltz can't get the rebound past Omar and now Keller looking around to the line Coyote's patient here 40 seconds to go Keller Rister glove save Omar Light. And here comes the shot. You got to get right in front of the goaltender. He's going to stop those all day long. Maybe one final look for the Coyotes if they can free it. A shot is on. Pat save Omar at the horn. Heartbreak City tonight for the Coyotes as they drop a 2 1 decision to the Boston Bruins.